Just as we learned that the concept of simultaneity is relative depending on which reference frame one is in, we're going to learn now about concepts like the future or the past being relative terms depending on which reference frame one is sitting in. We found previously that the Lorentz transformation between two reference frames changes the coordinates x and t, but it was the case that the quantity s squared was an invariant no matter what reference frame we're in. It turns out the concept of or the quantity s squared is going to be key to us determining whether or not the past or the future is unique. s squared is, is the same as calculated by any observer in any reference frame. We've also found examples where simultaneous is a relative statement. Not all reference frames, or not all observers in all reference frames will agree on whether two events are simultaneous. It turns out that a Lorentz transformation can take two events, one which follows the other, in one reference frame, and reverse their order in another reference frame. In other words, two events can be not causally related. Just because A comes before B in one reference frame, it might be that B comes before A in the other reference frame. This means that the ideas of fat past and future can be relative, just like simultaneity. It turns out that this is, happens to be related to the relative separation of the two space-time events A and B, or B relative to the origin, if A is the origin, and whether light could get to that second event or not. We're going to distinguish between three possible cases, and they are related to the value of the invariant. The case S squared is greater than zero is sometimes called a time-like event. Such an event appears inside the, thought, the cone defined by x is equal to ct. That means an event inside the cone relative to the origin is something that a, a messenger can get to because it's a, a second event that one would have to travel to at a speed less than c in order to get to. Time-like in this case means it has a larger time separation than it has spatial separation x. It turns out that if such an event is after the event at the origin in one reference frame, it will be after in any reference frame. Just because we boost to different coordinates, it won't change the fact that s squared is greater than zero. And so as a result, the event that comes later in one reference frame will be later for all reference frames. The other case is s squared less than zero, sometimes also called a space-like event. A space-like event has a spatial separation that's larger than its time-like separation. This means it's outside the cone defined by x equals ct. Events outside the cone cannot be reached by a messenger since x is greater than ct, or in other words, the velocity necessary to get to it would have to be greater than c. It turns out that as events outside the cone can become transformed from being before to after, depending on whether or not we switch to the right reference frame. The third category of events is when s squared is equal to zero. These are sometimes called light-like events, because such events sit on the cone defined by x equals ct. In other words, an event on such a cone can only be reached if the messenger is traveling at speed c. The events relative to the origin that have s squared greater than zero are shown and they lie inside the two cones, one in the past and one in the future. Events that are in the future for us in one reference frame will be in the future for any reference frame. And events that are in the past will always stay in the past. But the events with s squared less than zero can move from being future to past or past to future depending on the appropriate boost from one s frame, reference frame s to another reference frame, s prime. Therefore, it's important to know the designation of these cones and whether s squared is greater than zero or less than zero, because those for which it's greater than zero, we can definitely say there's a causal relationship or a sequence between a, events a and b, whereas events outside the cone, the relationship one comes before the other can reverse if we're in a different reference frame.